Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire ES15 model. The exact model for this one is an ES1-531-C45U. And in this video I'm going to take you on step by step how to open it up, how you can service, clean up your motherboard, replace your CPU and clean up your fan system for this one. If yours is running hard and it's been a few years that you haven't done any servicing on this one, you can do this at home, it's really easy, it's not too hard and the tools, I'll leave the link for the, in the video description for all the tools that I use. So you can do this at, the, at your home. Alright, tool number one and the most important one is a thermal paste. I recommend you guys to grab any Arctic MX4 or the new one Arctic MX5. Don't go anything over Arctic MX4 or MX5 because I'll explain in a bit why. So grab your thermal paste, in this case we have an Arctic MX4. You want a toothbrush, an uh, old or new toothbrush. You want to grab yourself a workshop towel. Uh, we're going to grab one sheet of workshop towel. You want to grab yourself a, a screwdriver set. And uh, I always recommend on my videos to grab yourself an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number one from this screwdriver set. They have a S2 class steel, that means a really tough and steel. You can uh, get yourself the pro version. Again, I'll leave the link. The pro version, they do include you an opening tools, a tweezers. And also, so we're going to be using a curved tweezers. And uh, if you don't want to get the pro version, at least get yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. All right, and the most important one again, second most important is an alcohol. You need to grab yourself an isopropolic or isopropolic 90% plus alcohol. Now you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. Now on the bottom cover, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. Now all these screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. You just have to remove all of them and keep them in one single pile. So go ahead and start from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my video and if my video helps you guys out through your own servicing, cleaning, upgrade, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate it. And it will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions. Again, I'll appreciate your support. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're just gonna double check, make sure we haven't missed any screws, go all around for in the middle, and then we're gonna remove the caddy for the defect DVD drive, remove that one, and we're gonna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle, and we are gonna grab our opening tool, in this case, a guitar pick. We're gonna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, and we're just gonna twist it around in there, and we should see an opening and you're going to hear a few clicks that's the clip that are getting loose so you want to do all around in the front end go to under the dvd drive towards the back corner and you want to do it all around in there and you want to do left and right side this is fairly easy it's not too hard once you did that now you can separate the palm rest and the bottom case but remember, you don't want to yank on it. There's a two flex cable in here. So you want to pull this jack at the back of the trackpad, this one upward, and slide back the flex cable for the trackpad. For the keyboard, there's a little lock in here. You want to push it towards the back of the laptop a little bit, about one millimeter. And there's one on the other side. You want to push it back and slide back the flex cable. I'm going to go over those right now. So there's your palm rest, you can go ahead and clean it up. Alright, let me go over the locks that I removed. So this is for the keyboard. The lock that I push back is this side, about one millimeter, and the side on the other side. So that way the keyboard can get unpinched and can go out. For the trackpad, same thing, pull up 90 degrees, slide out the flex cable. You put it back in, you slide it right underneath, lock it down, slide it underneath from the back, and push it all the way back. Make sure the flex cable has to go straight all the way in. All right, now once we down here, first we're going to remove the battery by pulling this jack from the sides. In here, put your finger right on the plastic cover right here on the side and pull it back evenly. All right, 
Same thing for the speaker cable. Pull it back. Now we're gonna remove the flex cable for the LCD. Just lift up this tape. And there's a lock right there. There's a black one, so pull it back from with your finger. Lift it up 90 degrees. Slide out the flex cable. Remove this flex bridge right here. Again, same thing like that one. Lift it up 90 degrees, slide it out. We're gonna remove the hard drive by removing one screw right in here. I'm actually gonna change the hard drive to a mechanical hard drive. You can you're just gonna slide it back and then lift it up to bring it up. To replace the hard drive to a different one, just put it in the same orientation. Remove the caddy from here and put it on the other one. Because I put the hard drive for a demo. So there we have it. So put the hard drive to one side. Now we're going to remove three screws. One for the Wi-Fi board right in the corner. One for the fan right in here. And one on the motherboard right over here. Once we remove all those, you can just slide out the uh, Wi-Fi board. Lift up this motherboard from the bottom side up and push it, pull it towards yourself, but be careful. Yes, that's where you need the tweezers. The power jack is gonna be right there, so if you wanna lift it up, bring it up, untangle it, and now you can continue pulling out the motherboard. And now you can go ahead and clean up the bottom hole right there, and on this side, you have the motherboard. The CMOS battery is right here, it's a CR 2032. You can replace it if your BIOS is not holding up any configuration. So right now we're gonna remove the heat sink. Before that, we're gonna remove the fan by pulling these two jack backward, slide it out. Remove the three screws that holds the heat sink on top. These screws, they do have a seal lock on them, so that means the screw will not come out entirely. So you just have to loose them up and remove the heat sink. This is the worst heat sink I ever seen. It's just a uh, aluminum sheet goes here. There's no condenser or anything. It's just pretty much blowing in a over surface of the uh, aluminum, and it's supposed to cool down. That's pretty much nonsense. Anyway, so grab a piece of the workshop towel, soak it in in the alcohol. This alcohol is non-conductive. You do not need to remove the battery. Just rub it on the CPU die. Make sure you clean up nicely. Do it with the other side, clean side. You don't have to clean up the whole PCB board or the whole CPU as long as you clean the CPU die. You more than fine. Make sure it's nice and shiny. Don't touch it with your grease on your finger. Clean up the fan and clean up the heatsink in here. There we go. If your fan is really dirty, mine is actually clean. You can take it outside, blow some compressed air through it, and clean up with a toothbrush. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna apply a single drop of the thermal paste on the middle of the die. Just one drop. Don't put too much. Nothing's gonna happen if you put too much, but just that's how much you wanna place. If it's gonna focus. All right. Now we're gonna grab the it was this way, I'm guessing. Yeah. We're gonna grab the heat sink, align it right over, put it right in there, make sure the screw holes match. Okay, and now you wanna lock it down and screw it down. There's a little number on it, it says one, two, three. You can just follow the numbers or just cross the screw them. As long as you cross the screw them, you don't go around like that. Uh, this is a triangle, so you can go around, doesn't matter, so the numbers means nothing, so just go ahead and put the screws back on. Put the fan cable, make sure you slide the jack right in there, you always forget that. You want to grab the motherboard, move the cables out of the way, put the I.O. side down, move the cables back, grab the Wi-Fi jack right there, bring it over. And this thing keep going underneath. Align it, align the motherboard right over. Move the power jack, zigzagging it around the slot right there and put it down. Grab the Wi-Fi board, bring it down, 
push it down and we're gonna put the three screws one for the motherboard one for the fan and one for the uh, wi-fi board all right again put those jack in put the speaker cable right in there and flex cable for the lcd open up the jack this jack this cable has a little ear lobes to the sides so it will not go straight down you have to bring it down in 45 degrees toward the uh, jack and then sit it down toward the motherboard so slide it in in 45 and then push it towards the motherboard and then lock it down make sure it's all the way in and put the tape right over now we're gonna grab the hard drive slide it right in there lock it down put the single screw for the hard drive and now we're gonna put the bridge cable right over and lock it down once you finish down here make sure double check everything is in place nicely all those connected for the wi-fi bridge cable power jack look i missed here this one has to go zigzag it right underneath here right in here all right, now last thing is to grab the power connector for the battery. Evenly, it goes in and it's gonna get pinched right in there. Put the cable right in the crack right there, inside there. And the last thing down here would be to grab the palm rest, align it over. And you wanna somehow put the flex cable right back in. Remember those clips I showed you? Pull them back down on the other side to the USB port and slide the flex cable right over. Okay, make sure the flex cable has to go even in there, otherwise some of the keys might not work. So make sure it has to go evenly in there. So, there we have it. Now I'm going to put this flex cable, open up the lock for the trackpad, slide it right in there. I don't know if I can do it. There we go. And lock it in there. Now I'm going to power it on and we're going to see how it's going to work. Alright, so push down the side, pinch the top and the bottom cover together, close the laptop screen, put the dumb, dummy DVD drive in there. And it's important to put the two screws on each corner at the back end of that for the hinges. Otherwise, you're gonna break the hinges with opening without the screw too much. So I'm gonna put these screws and then I'm gonna power on the laptop so you guys can see that it's working. Because I seen in my comments people saying, "Why don't you turn it on?" Uh, I don't turn it on to make keep the video short, but for those people that don't trust me. Here is the video depart for you guys. So let's find the screw hole for the power it's right there. And I see a light for the battery. All right. Now I'm going to power on and there's a blue light and charging. I get a screen. There's a logo for the Acer and it should go to the windows and we're gonna test the keyboard after that i don't know if you guys want to sit and watch this so this is a client of mine brought in so i don't know if he has a password or no i'm just gonna check that the trackpad is working all right so the trackpad is working so I can just click, slide this stuff around. The hard drive is really slow. So the enter key is working. I can type numbers in a pin code. And it's not going to go through, obviously. All right, guys. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you guys like this video, please click that like button and think about subscribing. If you want to support the channel, if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. And as always, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.